this video is a quick guide to naming polygons. If you're not sure what a polygon is, you might want to check out the previous video first. Okay, polygons are named after the number of sides or angles they have. And remember that the number of sides and the number of angles is the same. We've got special names for three and four sided polygons and you'll actually already know these. So there's my most simple polygon. It's got three sides and you'll probably know that that shape is called a triangle. Now the tri bit at the start of that word just means three. So there are some English words that use tri in them and that means three. So for example a tricycle has got three wheels. So a triangle is just a shape with three angles and you can see three angles also means it's got three sides. So the next one we've got four sides there and that's called a quadrilateral. Now the word quad is used quite frequently in English to mean four. So a quad bike is a bike with four wheels. So our next one this has got five sides and it's called a pentagon. So you can see the names have changed slightly now. We've gone triangle quadrilateral and then we've got pent which tells us about the number of sides and then the agon bit on the end. So we stop bothering with special names for polygons once we get past triangle and quadrilateral. After this all of the polygons are named after the number of sides. So pent is to do with five so a pentagon has five sides. Okay, that's slightly strange looking shape. If we count the number of sides, one, two, three, four, five, six, it's actually got six sides and that's called a hexagon. So you can see again we've got the hex bit there that tells us about six and the agon bit that tells us that we're looking at a polygon. Now this might not be the sort of hexagon you're used to seeing and I've just put that there to remind you that any kind of shape made up of straight edges or straight lines is a polygon, even if it looks a bit weird like that one. Okay, this one, it's got seven sides and it's called a heptagon. Some people for some reason want to call it a septagon. It's not a septagon, it's a heptagon. And next one that's actually got eight sides so that would be an octagon and again we can think of English words that start with oct so octopus, an octopus has got eight legs so an octagon has got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides so apart from triangles and quadrilaterals every other polygon is named after the number of sides it has so you need to know pentagon, hexagon, heptagon and octagon the next one's a nonagon for nine. There's also a couple more there. So ten sided, you can see there I've put I've put deck for ten. So a ten sided shape would be called a decagon. And a twelve sided shape would be called a dodecagon. You probably don't need to go much further than that, but there are actually names for every polygon you would want to think of. Some of the names get really, really complicated. One thing to point out is you'll notice, as I said with the hexagon, it looks a little bit strange. It might not be the sort of hexagon you're used to seeing. Now all of these shapes here, although they are polygons, they're not regular polygons. So regular polygons are ones with equal sides and equal angles. So if we look at these, we can see that the triangle here, that's definitely not got equal sides or equal angles, so that's not regular. If you want to find out more about regular polygons, check out the next video. Thanks for watching.